Hi everyone, in this video you are going to know how to simulate 2D foreign truss like this with a vertical and horizontal concentrated loads. So we'll open and sort bench and start static structural. Then we'll open the geometry using new design modeler. We have here the span of each truss is four meters and the height is four meters. So we'll start by creating the coordinate points for this point and this point and this point and so on. Then connect these points together with lines to create the frame members. So we'll start by pressing point here or create point. Choosing construction point, then the definition will be manual input. We'll start our first point by zero zero zero. Then we'll create the other point. It will be at x equal four meters. We can get our two D view here. We need also to check the units. It is in meters. So we'll create the third point. This is a very easy way to create your uh, model by using such coordinates or getting the key points for the coordinates and insert these points and connect them together. You can also import any uh, geometry from Solid or Inventor or AutoCAD. 12 and the last point in the lower court member will be at 16 meters okay now we have these points for the lower court member we will create the upper court member points now so point manual input the x will be two meters only to have a, a, a midpoint here and the y coordinate will be four will be six and four. And it will be 10 and four. The last one will be 14 and four. So now these are our key points for the vertex of each frame. So we can now connect them with the beam elements. So we'll press on concept, line from points. We can check on the first point, then press control, then connect. Still pressing control and we can choose any Two points to connect them and we are holding the control key and then click apply, generate. Now we have created our frames, so we need to define the cross section for these elements. You can choose from uh, the menu here, uh, rectangle, circular, or circular tube, or I section, section, anything, or you can define your uh, special uh, uh, cross section if you have a new advanced cross section or a built up section, so you just, We'll use here the circular tube and 
when we press on the circular tube, we have here the properties and uh, that, and these properties can be adjusted according to our uh, cross section. So we'll put the inner uh, radius as a boy. We'll start from the outer radius. Let's say that the outer radius will be uh, five centimeters, so point oh five. We find it go larger, and the inner let's say four centimeters. So this is our cross section. But now we define the cross section alone, and we define the elements alone. If we open the part here, we will find line body not assigned any cross section. So we'll check this and choose circular tube one and if we have more than uh, one cross section we can uh, give them uh, any name and uh, be sure that we assign the proper cross section to the proper frame uh, element so let's say this one will be hollow and we'll find here that our cross section is hollow now we add the cross section we can close this one and open the model in the model menu we can define load define uh, supports and uh, solve the problem just take a little bit time for attaching geometry so now this is our geometry. Okay, we can always view cross section. And if we want to check the properties here, we'll find that the total volume will be 0.18 uh, uh, m to the power 3 and the mass will be uh, 1415 kilogram and for the meshing we can control the sizing and the relevant center will be fine just to get very accurate results and by pressing static structure here we'll find here in this menu inertial if we can if we want to add the own weight so if we added the standard earth gravity and uh, choose the direction to be in the negative y direction this will uh, this means that the own weight will be calculated and considered in calculation but if we just want to add uh, the the loads here we can add force at Choose here to select points or vertex. At this point, we press apply, and the magnitude will be defined by components. So we need here to define a 14 kN horizontally to the positive x direction. So in the x, the units are in newton, so 14 plus 1, 2, 3 to get it like. 14 kilo newton and we have the direction here again we have here 20 and 30 so we'll choose this point and add force and again y components in the negative y so 30 20 and again here we'll add our last load so if we stand here we have all our assigned loads we need to define our supports so we have displacement support at this point and at this point control and uh, select the other point apply we will find here that we have selected two vertices we can put the x direction as zero y direction as zero z direction as zero so this is the support and if we uh, want to uh, 
show our total deformation. We just press on solution and choose the deformations from here. Want to uh, illustrate? This is a two D uh, simulation, so there will be no stresses. So we can just calculate deformations. If we want to calculate beam results like axial force or uh, or for the coordinate system, any nodal triads or angle or for prop energy or force reaction, we can use the displacement here and then press solve. If you found this error, solver pivot warning, you can go to analysis setting and for the solver pivot checking, just turn it off and solve again. And here you are, our deformation. Thank you. If you want to have any question about anything or simulate any problem, just write me a comment uh, asking for what you want and I will respond to you. Thank you.